in practice, we can create the sinusoidal traveling wave by connecting the spring, connecting the string with the oscillating braid that connect to the oscillator and the braid will oscillate as a simple harmonic motion. The braid acts as the source of the disturbance to the medium which here is the string and create the uh, create and propagate the oscillation along the string. The wave will consist of the series of identical wave form, which now will oscillate as a sinusoidal traveling wave. Okay. The wave function will have the form as we have discussed, that is, it has the form of y x t equal to a sin k x plus sorry minus omega t because we are looking at the wave that move to the positive x direction plus the phase constant phi. In this case, in this figure, you can see that we have the phase constant equal to zero. Right? Because at the time t equal to zero, the snapshot of the traveling wave is the sine wave and the uh, displacement of the medium at the point x equal to zero at time t equal to zero is zero. So in this figure it represents the wave function with phi equal to zero. And you can see the development of the wave when the oscillator moves up and down as a simple harmonic motion. Right? It generates the wave on the medium. Here is the string. The velocity of the tailing wave, as we have discussed, is um, V is equal to omega over K. This is the velocity of the wave. Or we may say since we are interested in the magnitude, so this is a we can say that it is the wave speed. Okay. However, it's also interesting to look at the motion of the medium. This is a different thing. We can looking at the motion of the wave and the wave move with the wave speed equal to the omega over k. But the motion of the medium. Okay. As in the figure, you can see that if we look at the medium that is at the string at a certain point P, the medium will oscillate up and down as a simple harmonic motion. So if we want to analyze the motion of the medium at the point P, 
we will get the result that very similar to the simple harmonic motion. So, at a fixed value of x, like at this point P, we have that Y is equal to A psi KX minus omega T. The velocity of the displacement Y can be obtained by taking the derivative of y with respect to time t. So dy by dt as a fixed x. It means that we look at only one particular position x here. So, we can take x as a constant. So, the der derivative is minus omega t, sorry, minus omega a psi kx minus, sorry, this have to be cos, cos psi kx minus omega t okay remember x is a fixed number now so this one this term is like a constant and using the same idea this is a this one is a velocity of the medium at point P. Okay. This is not the velocity of the wave, but it is the velocity of the uh, displacement of the medium. And if we want to calculate the acceleration of the medium, it is the derivative of the velocity with respect to t at a fixed value of x. And it's equal to omega square a sine kx minus omega t. We have the minus sign here also. <clears throat> so the ac the acceleration has the form of this at the fixed point of x. But x is arbitrary here. It means that you can use this t equation, this three equation at any point x. But in the process of obtaining the velocity and the acceleration, you have to fix the value of x to take the derivative, these two derivatives. The maximum value of the velocity of the medium, V, Y, max, can we obtain by taking the cosine function to have the max it maximum value which equal to one and the minimum value is equal to minus one. Here we have to use the minimum value the minus one to make this positive. Anyway, we have that V Y A max is equal to the omega A and similarly we will have a y max 
equal to omega square a. You can see that these results is identical. These results are identical to the results in the simple harmonic motion because at a certain point in, on the medium, the medium oscillates as a simple harmonic motion.